Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Act One, Scene Three. A room in Capulet's house. Enter Lady Capulet and Nurse. Nurse, where's my daughter? Call her forth to me. Now, by my maiden head, at twelve years old, I bade her come. What lamb? What ladybird? God forbid! Where's this girl? What Juliet? Enter Juliet. How now? Who calls? Your mother, Madame. I am here. What is your will? This is the matter, Nurse. Give leave a while. We must talk in secret. Nurse, come back again. I have remembered me. Thou's hear our counsel. Thou knowest my daughters of a pretty age. Faith, I can tell her age unto an hour. She's not fourteen. I'll lay fourteen of my teeth, and yet to my teeth be it spoken, I have but four. She is not fourteen. How long is it now to Lama's tide? A fortnight and odd days. Even or odd of all days in the year, come Lama's Eve at night shall she be fourteen. Susan and she, God rest all Christian souls, were of an age. Well, Susan is with God. She was too good for me. But as I said, on Lama's Eve at night shall she be fourteen. That shall she marry. I remember it well. Tis since the earthquake. Now eleven years, and she was weaned. I never shall forget it. Of all the days of the year, upon that day, for I had then laid wormwood to my dug, sitting in the sun under the dove house wall, my lord and you were then at Mantua. Nay, I do bear a brain, but as I said, when it did taste the wormwood on the nipple of my dug, and felt it bitter. Pretty fool, to see it tetchy and fall out with the dug, shake quoth the dove house. Twas no need I trow to bid me trudge, and since that time it is eleven years. For then she could stand alone, nay, by the rood, she could have run and waddled all about. For even the day before she broke her brow, and then my husband, God be with his soul, ah, was a merry man, took up the child. Yea, quoth he. Dost thou fall upon thy face? Thou wilt fall backward when thou hast more wit. Wilt thou not, Julie? And by my holiday, the pretty wretch left crying and said, "I to see now how a jest shall come about. I warrant, and I should live a thousand years. I never should forget it. Wilt thou not, Julie?" Quoth he, and pretty fool, it stinted and said, "I." Enough of this, I pray thee. Hold thy peace, yes, madam. Yet I cannot choose but laugh to think it should leave crying and say I. And yet I warrant it had upon its brow a bump as big as a young cockerel stone, a parlous knock, and it cried bitterly. Yea, quoth my husband, fallest upon thy face. Thou wilt fall backward when thou comest age. Wilt thou not, jewel? It stinted and said I. And stint thou too, I pray thee, nurse. Say I, peace. I have done. God mark thee to His grace. Thou wast the prettiest babe that e'er I nursed, and I might live to see thee married once. I have my wish. Mary, that Mary is the very theme I came to talk of. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? It is an honour that I dream not of. An honor were not I thine only nurse. I would say thou hadst sucked wisdom from thy teeth. Well, think of marriage now. Younger than you here in Verona, ladies of esteem are made already mothers by my count. I was your mother much upon these years that you are now a maid. Thus then, in brief, the valiant Paris seeks you for his love. A man, young lady, lady, such a man as all the world. Why, he's a man of wax. Verona's summer hath not such a flower. Nay, he's a flower in faith, a very flower. What say you? Can you love the gentleman? 
this night you shall behold him at our feast. Read o'er the volume of young Paris's face, and find delight writ there with beauty's pen. Examine every married liniment, and see how one another lends content, and what obscured in this fair volume lies, find written in the margent of his eyes, this precious book of love, this unbound lover, to beautify him only lacks a cover. The fish lives in the sea, and tis much pride for fair without the fair within to hide. That book in many's eyes doth share the glory, that in gold clasps locks in the golden story. So shall you share all that he doth possess, by having him making yourself no less." No less, nay, bigger, women grow by men. Speak briefly, can you like of Paris's love? I'll look to like, if looking, liking move, but no more deep will I endart mine eye than your consent gives strength to make it fly. Enter a servant. Madame, the guests are come. Supper served up. You called my young lady asked for. The nurse cursed in the pantry, and everything in extremity. I must hence to wait. I beseech you, follow straight. We follow thee. Exit servant. Juliet, the county stays. Go, girls, seek happy nights to happy days. They exit. End of of scene read by Lorraine Montgomery for lit to go on the web at fcit.usf.edu